Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. What's Scar here, and welcome back to Scarland, a land where we take survival building to the extreme. And we're here in the west side of Scarland, working on our beautiful suspension bridge down below. And in today's episode, we're going to get all of the suspension cables connecting to the major cables. We're going to get the transportation deck all set up and ready to go. So let's head down and watch this, my friends. Here we go, right off the tower, and away we go. Oh my gosh, I love the 1.9 boats. They are the greatest thing of all time. It's like we never had boats in Minecraft. I don't even consider what we had before a boat. This is the greatest thing of all time. All right, so let's take a stop here and get straight into building today. And the first thing I want to do before we do that, actually, is to remind you that I have a super secret uh, at the end of the video, and I'm super excited to show it to you. So hang in there until the end because I got something really cool for you. All right, let's get right into it, and we're going to start building. We're going to start getting, well... If I can stop falling off the scaffolding, we will start. I promise you this. I promise you. All right. Now we are back and ready to roll. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to one of our kind of little pads here where it uh, kind of propels the mine car, of course. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to go on either end here where we worked on our last episode. I did lose the rail here. I'm not 100% sure where it went, but it did go away. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a block on either end like so. And we're going to place two of our glass blocks like that. And then what we're going to do is on either end here, we're going to go like that, sneak around the back and place two more there. Then we're going to get a little scaffolding and work our way to the top. There we go. And then we're going to place these blocks on either side, sneaking on over, try not to slip off because, well, that is glass after all. Ice, not glass scar. There we go. Beautiful. And there's our little like suspension cable system, and that's what's going to hold up the platform. Now, this little section along here, of course, is stone. I'm going to replace that with cyan clay eventually. But in our last episode, I where did my rails go? Where did my rails go? I don't know. I must have been goofing around up here with water and stuff earlier. I was messing around up there. I, I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, in our last episode, I asked, what should we talk about in videos? So what I came up with was build talk, hashtag build talk. Um, I'm going to change the name to hashtag scar talk because it's not just about building. Um, but what it is, is you can send me topics to talk about in the videos and the tremendous reception to it. And I was so happy to see you guys were excited about this. And I picked a couple good ones and one of them we're going to go off today. So if you want to do a, a build talk and you want me to talk about something, you can just go hashtag scar talk. You can send it to me on YouTube or here on Twitter. So we can do either one. Wow, I'm dyslexic. I was just you could do it over there on YouTube or here on Twitter. No scar. We're here on YouTube. And you can go over to Twitter and send it to me. Wow, the dyslexia is strong today, my friends. It is strong. All right, there we go. Put that along there and we'll pull this a block like so. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome. So one of them that I really liked was from Nikki Beans YouTube. And what she said was, Scott, what does it take to be a YouTuber? And I thought this was a fabulous question. Reason being is I hear from so many, especially younger people who really want to make YouTube their thing. That's what they want to do in their life. And I thought this was a great uh, question to uh, talk about. So let's do it. What does it take to be a YouTuber? First thing it takes is to be an incredibly hardworking, goal driven person. And what that means is you are your own boss. You are the boss of your channel and you are the sole proprietor of your establishment. You make the rules. You make the schedule. You make the content. You are a one man band. And you are doing all the work. You are the talent. You're the person creating the content. You're the one in front of the camera. You're the person behind the camera, directing, producing, you know, camera work, if that's what you're doing, or editing and all those good things. You are the person who does it all. And personally, that's what I love about YouTube is I you got to be a fiercely independent kind of person to really like YouTube because this is your thing. Nobody's going to tell you what to do. You tell yourself what to do. Now, that could be a problem. That could definitely be a problem. That could be a thing if you have trouble, you know, kind of, uh, you know, if you're somebody who likes, you know, just somebody like, OK, this is what they told me to do. I'm going to go do this. And that was me before YouTube. When I was a swimmer and we went to um, swim practice and there wasn't like, you know, my coach wasn't there and it was like, OK, get in the pool, start swimming, do what you do when when the coach is here. And I would literally just sit there like, I don't know what to do. And it took me a long time to get out of that uh, mentality. And once I did, doors open, my friends, doors open. And that's what I love about YouTube is everything on the channel is 100% of my creation, at least at the point of this video, pretty much. There may be, I can't think of anything else. Like I create the art, I edit, I do all these different things. 
Uh, maybe it's not the best of the best, but I'm proud of it because I did it and it's 100% of my creation and I'm in control of it. And that's what's really beautiful about YouTube. And if you're entrepreneur like, this is the greatest paradise for you. Um, what about the problems in YouTube? Problems, yes, there are problems in YouTube. YouTube itself can be a major problem in itself. And that's a, that's a major issue for content creators. YouTube, um, you know, YouTube has its issues and I don't really need to go into it here, but there are issues. So you've gotta be able to not, and this is my biggest thing, get discouraged and frustrated. You have to, you will always get discouraged. You always get frustrated, but you need to do your best to kind of avoid that and keep perspective on what's important. And that is your viewers, the content that they want, they want to see the next day, and you just can't let those things get down to you. Yes, you'll probably lose a video here or there. Yes, you'll have to deal with the annoyances of the back sides of YouTube, but that's what you have to do to make content. And that's still what we love to do. All right, next thing. Trolls. Yes, there's going to be negative people. There's going to be trolls out there. What can you do to prevent something like this? Not a lot. Not a lot. I wish there was YouTube uh, moderators like on Twitch. It would be the greatest thing ever. Um, we have the greatest Twitch mods of all time. Shout out to you super crew out there. Um, but we don't have that on YouTube, unfortunately, at least that I know of. Um, and uh, but so what you have to do is, yes, you are going to get you're going to get criticism. You're going to have people and you're they're going to get under your skin, but you have to have some perspective in it that these aren't your real fans. Your real fans are there for you. Um, yes, maybe you'll goof up or you won't make something that everyone likes, but you just have to kind of get over it. You can't have a big ego. You just have to kind of continue to persevere, continue to make the absolute best content you can. Be honest with your viewers like, hey man, this video wasn't to the best of my ability. Next time it's gonna be the best thing ever. And you just have to constantly, constantly refine your work. You never wanna get complacent. Always look for the trends. Always find the trends. Am I great at, at you know following the trends? No, not really. It takes me a long time to adapt. I'm a very slow adapter to new things. Half my projects that I make, it was a year be when I came up with the idea and did a quick kind of rough test of it to see if it would work out for an actual build. It takes me like a year to get to anything. Um, but always be out looking to better yourself. Never get an ego and think you're the best thing ever um, because unfortunately you're not and you have to make sure that is a mentality that you go into that you are always kind of behind. Have that philosophy, always a little bit behind and you can always do better to catch up. Once you have success, don't get fat and lazy. Remember the times when you were working hard late at night. You see this all the time on YouTube and in business and all these different things that you see people who struggled so hard they fought and fought and fought to get where they are once they get there they get fat and lazy and i don't mean figuratively but they just get lazy once they get there they're like ah oh, i'm so content now up here in my ivory quartz tower i got quartz on my mind as you can see we're using a lot of quartz today um sitting up here in my quartz tower and uh i don't need to do any work today no 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 they love me down there no they don't they like they like your content but if you stop making that content, and you stop treating your fans well, then they're going to turn on you and they should be honest. And uh, so always remember to stay hungry, stay, stay focused. You know, your, your viewers are who put you there. So remember that. And also remember, remind your viewers, you know, you're a human too. You're a human. And, you know, sometimes there are days when you can't make content. There are things that come up in your life and you got to be honest with your viewers about these things and make sure that they know them. So when they do come up, like when I have to go in the hospital or something, I'm honest with my viewers. I tell them this is what's going to happen, unfortunately, and they're cool about it. And you guys are wonderful about that. And I'm so glad I was honest about my health and all that stuff because it's I've been able to talk with other people who have similar things, hopefully maybe even inspire them just a little bit to get out there and try things, too. And uh, also it gives people a good perspective to know why certain times you can't do certain things. Um, I don't know if any of that helped, but just remember when you're a YouTuber, you don't work a nine to five, you work a 24 hour and uh, just just stay, stay positive, love what you're doing. And I'm just going to continue running these blocks all the way across here and I'll see you in just one minute. All right, and welcome back. And as you can see, we are nearly complete on our bridge. We have the deck all ready to go. I did change out the stone to cyan clay. So give me your thoughts on that. Let me know if you think that's an improvement over before. 
And I think things are starting to look good. If you can spot any scar mistakes, let me know. And hopefully you liked hashtag scar talk. And if of course, if you have a comment or a suggestion for our next scar talk, leave a comment in the in the chat there. So that was all right off the off the top of my head. Total improv. I didn't think about it a, a bit beforehand. I just kind of went right off the top of my head. Um, so hopefully that was able to give you guys a little bit of perspective on how to become a YouTuber. I highly encourage you if that is even just remotely a thought in your head of becoming one, give it a shot. Anyone can create an account and uh, just give it a try. And I'm sure you'll absolutely love it. So what we need to decide is if we want to do cyan stained clay or white stained clay for our support structures. So first choice is one. So this is a stained cyan clay or B white stained clay. I'm going to put a poll up in the top of the screen there for you guys to choose. And uh, so cyan would tie into the the, uh, the ice it would go up there the white would tie in with the rest of this and of course our other bridge over there so give me your thoughts i'm actually going to do one over here and one over there of different colors and then kind of decide what i want to do for the center but yeah i'll see you in just one second all right and welcome back and what we're doing is we're applying our glass panes upwards like this and this is the new best way of doing any suspension cables for bridges um, I really like these new glass panes in 1.9. Um, they also destroy some of our previous builds, unfortunately, but uh, I still really like them. So what we're going to do is we're working in cyan, and this is choice A. Choice B is going to, of course, be the white, and that's going to be over there. So I'm going to do this entire side in cyan. I'm going to do that side, that side over in white, and then you guys will have the option to choose which one you liked. So I think that'll be super, super duper cool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump down here because I'm having nothing but trouble with ghost blocks in 1.9 and it's driving me absolutely crazy right now. Um, so I'm just gonna leave, see, mm, well, I don't know if that was one, but anyway, I'm having trouble with those. So I'm just gonna leave that there for when I'm off camera to fix them. But to finish up our build talk for today, or scar talk, hashtag scar talk, um, I wanna leave you with this and I don't want you ever to take the advice from someone who tells you that you can't make a YouTube channel because it's overcrowded, oversaturated market. This is one of the most false things I have ever heard in YouTube. I know wonderful YouTubers who just started maybe a year, a little more than a year ago, and they're just killing it on YouTube, just doing absolutely awesome, growing their channel, creating amazing content for their viewers. And I just don't want you guys to hear that because I think people who say that um, aren't giving you solid good intention or good advice that comes from a good place. So don't take that advice and just do what you do, do you, and don't fall into that. And welcome to the super surprise, and that is the reveal of our next major project here in Scarland, and that is Scarred Ranch. That's right, we have a beautiful ranch style home gonna be built in this valley that we've been kind of terraforming. It's been taking a long time, but I've got it all pretty well terraformed out. It's gonna have a cattle ranch and all sorts of other beautiful things. I think we can terraform those mountains into something very spectacular. An unfortunate side effect of having a very old world is these strange biome colors throughout this patchwork of colors. It's very unfortunate. I wish there was a way of getting rid of those, but I know none, unfortunately. But I think as you can see, the layout of the house is gonna be very, very beautiful in this valley once we really get terraforming. And I do need quite a few more supplies. As you can see, I'm growing a lot of trees. And yeah, so hopefully you guys are excited for Scarred Ranch. And that, of course, is our next major building project. So let's get back to our current project. All right, and welcome back. And it's so exciting to finally finish the bridge and get it all completed. But I need your help, of course, first. And you gotta let me know which panes you like. There's a slight difference. It's not a huge difference, but as you can see, it is a slight difference out there in the distance. You can see the slight color change here and the brighter white shining over in the distance. So let me know which one you guys liked best, the A or the B. And thank you so much for watching. It's very, very, very much appreciated. And I'm so glad you guys have enjoyed this particular project. It was really fun. And this is personally one of my favorite builds. I just feel like it came out really nice. And yeah, so until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I. I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos are rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Um, so I'm pretty excited about getting into that. Um, as you guys know, I love theme park designs and all those good things. Um, so I think that'll be really cool. All right, so we've made it to the top here. And this center column right here is something that I'm a little bit iffy on on the exact color.